information. It's all about service. Accolades of sacrifice. Deployed to Iraq, deployed to Afghanistan, uh, Korea. Scattered throughout Edgar Claudio's Chester home. I retired as a first sergeant. That was the last rank I attained after 21 years of service. Creating lifelong bonds with those he served in the Army. Well, the Brotherhood is, is something that you never forget. It's a family. Claudio says that family extends beyond, especially right now, to the Coast Guard. Times like this is when you don't, you don't want to turn your back on a family member. Tuesday, thousands of active duty U.S. Coast Guard service members did not receive their paychecks. The only military branch under the Department of Homeland Security impacted by the government shutdown. Some of these people live paycheck to paycheck. So if they don't have money, what, what's going to happen to the mortgage? What's going to happen to the cars? To ease the pain, the former Chesterfield Sheriff's deputy and his wife, who is a captain in the reserves, are opening their home on Sunday to all local Coast Guard families for food. Puerto Rican rice, I'm going to make uh, ribs, uh, chicken, salad. I'm going to have cakes for the kids if kids come. And football, because his mission is simple. That I'm doing something better than myself. Just to help strangers forget the stresses of life for a day. Working for you in Chester, I'm Brennan King, CBS 6 News. Under this command, myself and the